Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Mother Ostankia. And we got Master Mundi running back home to defend and we got the cauldron ready for him. Because I've always heard that toads go great in witches brews and he is a lot of toad. But we also have some quest battles to do and I think we're gonna do one right away. And I've been looking at our opponents of the quest battles and uh, this one looks a little bit rough for us right now. But this one actually looks very doable, and you usually can't really trust these ones, but they can give you a general gist. So I think we're gonna do this one. And, oh, I guess we have to switch stands, so let's just go to normal stands and do our first quest battle of the campaign. So, we're gonna be fighting... Oh, crap! I was gonna make more curses. Shit. <laughs> um, well, I guess we can still retreat. And uh, hopefully we can still... Yeah, okay. We can teleport there two times in one turn. Because I want to do some of these. So, this one seems really good. Just uh, drag something down to 25 hit points. Seem very useful. So, we're gonna do one of those. We are gonna do... Uh, probably one of those. And I guess we're gonna do one of those as well. And that is gonna be great. Oh, are you trying to run us down to the quest marker? I guess so. But, let's try this again. And <laughs> we're stuck in the mountain. But, uh, let's see. It's a lot of uh, plague monks. So I guess uh, some whiff of madness wouldn't be bad on them. I mean, the negative leadership isn't gonna do much, but... The less... Uh, the negative melee defense is gonna make them much easier to kill. Uh, this is uh, just doing damage, so we're gonna put that on their like long range stuff. So they're gonna just break by us sitting around. So we're gonna try to give us some distance between these two and just let them drain. And then it is one more of those. So let's put it on, actually, let's put both on the sensor bearers. Yeah, because they are gonna be the strong ones. And uh, let's... Put it on you, and put it on you. Because these guys are the only ones who's actually gonna be in melee. Well, I guess these guys are. Let's actually... Nah, let's let's keep it on these guys. The charge bonus, though, can go to you. Oh, wait, what? There's no intro cinematic? I had turned off the microphone and everything, but I guess there's no intro. I don't think I've ever played a quest battle without an intro. But, okay. They have their ranged stuff over there, and this is just a bunch of plague monks and some skaven slaves. So we're gonna put all of our stuff over here. Actually, what is your range? Okay, so just put our stuff in front of this and move forward, I guess. So these guys are gonna sit there, we're gonna move them up, start killing stuff. Um, these guys, we can probably just... Well, let's uh, put all three of them, like, there-ish. They should be able to shoot pretty quickly. Put these guys behind. They might wanna go and uh, just run around and finish off the range stuff. But for now, let's keep them out of range. We'll put you up there. And, uh, oh, we should group these things as well. So, you guys are group 1, you can be group 2, you can be group 3, you can be group 2. And I guess all of these can be group 4, and they're gonna go flanking around. But we're gonna move everything up a little bit. These guys are just gonna go plow through some plague monks. And yeah, I figured that out, thank you. That is <laughs> very informative of you. But yeah, they are draining fast, man, that curse is so good! Jesus! Actually, the movement th one would have been pretty good too, but we'll pull you back. Because we are going to have to rush this eventually. And uh, move you up. And uh, yeah, just plow through these rats. They're going to be great. And uh, they are bunching up on us, so... Okay, send you in there. These are just Gaven slaves. There's some plague monks here though, so... Let's go in here. And yeah, they're gonna they're gonna go down fast to all shooting and all of that stuff. Oh, let's pull back. Do another lap. Very nice. And I don't 
Wait, what? Chaos Rift? Um, okay, pause. A Chaos Rift that's open to the south. The only thing keeping these demons together is the greater demon. Defeat the... Defeated to close the rift. Where is the... Okay, so there's gonna come... Be coming a... A... Uh, greater demon over here. So, I guess, line up. Get ready. Oh, shit, that hurts. Okay, um, let's uh, move these guys around. Let's uh, turn you around. Turn you around. Oh, right. They're gonna. There's a rift open. They're gonna keep coming. But let's just bust in here. Pop that. And uh, let's uh, go kill these guys. They're gonna do a lot of damage. Send in some spiders. Spiders. You should all be shooting. Let's send in some of you over there and... Oh! There it is! Okay. So, we need to kill that thing. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of uh, Nurglings coming in over here. But is it just Nurglings? For now it is. That's good. But let's uh, go and shut these guys down. Make sure they can't do anything bad to us. You're doing fine, just keep killing stuff. You're gonna be great. Let's focus you on the Grazier. Uh, yeah, you're just you're just eating little popcorn demons. God, I love the I love the look of the things in the woods. They are such a cool unit. Love it. But we're gonna need to pull them back a little bit, but these guys are doing great. And let's uh, let's pull back a little bit. Oh, actually, we've broken everything. So all cursors go and start shooting over there. Bring it back a little bit. We'll grab you and you. Come on over here and help. And oh right, it's the shadow one that debuffs against missile attacks. Ooh, that would have been so good now. Well, let's uh, hit those real quick until we get everything in range. And then we are going to... That's the one who lowers... Who lowers armor. And we're just gonna pepper you full of uh, low armor piercing missile damage. Come on. Yeah, he's dropping real fast, especially with this guy right there, but he might be in the way of a lot of shooting. But it seems like we're doing fine with the shooting anyway. Let's send the spiders in. Get some poison damage in, because they should be able to shoot over that, no problem. And he is crumbling. Very nice. There he goes. He is down. And everything should crumble, yeah? Yeah, nice. Okay, that was pretty good. So that was a really fun battle, but I did not expect uh, Nurgle to come in and help out. But that's all right, we're gonna grab a little bit of replenishment. And uh, there's the Coven Curse Mark. We also get the Daz's Hearth Blades, which is great. We're gonna get some... Oh, well... Right, because we fought a Nurgle army, so... That is a new thing. So, that's a physical resistance on uh, a unit. That's pretty good. Or just lower physical resistance. So, that's pretty good. We don't have any spare relics, though, so... We'll make some next turn. Oh, can we? No, okay. We can't reach. <laughs> I thought so, but it looked like we could. We get some ogres if we want to, but no, no. Get our magic going. We're not gonna benefit from our replenishment this turn, but after we take Ziggurat, we will heal mostly full, I think. So, let's grab Arcane Conduit and finish off the Withering. Because I think that's gonna just make it free, maybe. With our negative four and the lower cost from this, I think that might pull it down. 
Either way, I think we're gonna go... I, I guess we're gonna go down the blue tree. Just maybe get some Quartermaster, some Casualty Replenishment. Or maybe we, we grab this. And, and maybe this. And then we'll go down blue. Yeah, I think so. I think that's good. So, you already have that. So, I guess uh, having more flocks of doom doesn't hurt. You are gonna grab a wild keeper. That's gonna give all of our beasts some good stuff. Oh, you got two levels. And I guess grab some armor. Let's make you a little bit tanky. I was also thinking, uh, since we're gonna go and take Skeggy probably, we can just go down and meet you. So, we're gonna... Okay, I guess the ice bears are just kind of better. Oh, except for the health, I suppose. But these guys chill out aura as well, so let's get two of those. And we'll bring some giant spiders and some bears to mother. And I realize we don't have to send a unit over there, over to Kislev, because we're going to be able to just teleport over to Dryka's house. So, let's just send you up north and... Oh, hello, sisters. You're doing well. They do not like us. Oh, that's a lot of aversion. Okay, we might have to fight the sisters. That's all right. We'll, we'll deal with that when, it, when we get there. Um, oh, wait. Where is the other... Where's my witch? Did they kill my witch? No, there she is. Keep going. There we go. And how far are you away? Next turn. We get that. Perfect. Get closer to Ulrika Magdova. And I think we can... This is just in... In our own lands, right? I think so. Oh, it says here. Uh, target enemy in your territory. Yeah. So if the Skaven pop up, we're gonna... We're gonna pop him. Oh, we have so much. Okay, I'm gonna just do that to spend some because I want to get to the next one. But as soon as we ha can use this, we're gonna use this. And we're gonna need to spend the Witch's Hut more often because I keep forgetting. And there's the Skaven. Okay. So they're just gonna take that back. That is fine. And we have finished the frozen outpost, so now we have to amass a treasury, which we already have. So let's get us Ulrika. She is gonna be great. So what do we switch out here? Oh, I guess it's just the spiders. Pop you in there. And let's go and take Cigarette of Dawn. And we could absolutely auto-resolve this, but Master Mundi is on the neighboring settlement, so I'm gonna do this and just try to take as little damage as, as possible. But we should be able to win this pretty quickly, because we can probably kill them before they even reach us. So we're just gonna put a big block of Cossars. We'll uh, set these guys up on the flanks, like so. And Ulrika can just sit there and shoot. We're gonna put you up there to shoot, and you're gonna... Just in case they actually get to us, you're just gonna sit there while we just drift around with our witches and kill them. And, oh, right. Of course, they're not gonna attack into us. So I guess uh, move up, speed up. And I guess... I guess let Mother Ostanke do her speech. And come on, move up. Come on, start shooting. Can you... Okay, we're just about in range. There we go. Now we can do this. Charge you through there. Well, okay. Charge you through in there. Charge you through in there. Get a big flock of doom. And I guess also heal. But yeah, that is super quick. And there we go. Zero losses. I think we took a little bit of damage on our characters, but that is absolutely fine. And uh, I guess we'll loot and occupy this. So, pop you outside though, because uh, I don't want Master Mundo to come and siege us. 
But if he comes and attack us, we should be able to deal with that. No problem. Especially if we get us a couple of these. So, this is... Oh, it gives us a passive ability. Oh, they explode. <laughs> they explode on death. Uh, makes things thick and heavy. Just buff damage. The longer they're in combat. Yeah, those are, those are all pretty alright. That's that one. Uh, enemies cast. Okay, we can lower their spell master and increase miscast chance. That's pretty cool. If we cast a lot of spells. But that might actually be pretty good to just pop on uh, Master Mundi. But maybe it's too gimmick to, gimmicky to actually be any good. Because that might not be high until like late in a battle. Uh, passive ability deals damage. I guess every, every two minutes it deals damage. That's pretty cool. But first of all, I want one of those to just pop on to Master Mundi right away. I want that one to just spread around a little bit of damage. And uh, I think I want that one to buff one of our characters or one of our uh, infantry units. Yeah, because they have so many Saurus that won't have big of an impact, but... This might have a pretty big impact on our guy, so it's also a very big melee attack boost, so let's go with that. That's gonna be good. And we finished that, so that's gonna be very nice. And was this gonna rebel? Oh yeah. <laughs> that's okay. We'll uh, go and take it back when we go and deal with the south. And I also wanted to get rid of this now, because now we got Ulrika, so we don't need that anymore. And grab growth. Grab that. And then we're just gonna keep building this up. Because then we have all the growth stuff, and uh, I guess this is gonna be... Right, we need Ostankia's hut over there. Yeah, that's gonna be some real good money. Excellent. So, get ourselves two more bears. Yeah. And, uh, I guess to level you up, that's actually pretty handy. Uh, the upheaval of Earth is pretty good, and, uh, increased mobility is gonna be great. And I think we might just give you combat stats for now, because we already have so many casters. So I think that's alright. And I don't think I care about any of those, so let's get a secondary Be trinket slot. Chaos waits for no one. And right, let's go and find Iatin. And go and find some northerners. Hello, Tyrion. You want to trade and you want to pay for it. Perfect. I was... I was gonna... I was gonna pay you, but sure. <laughs> And they're going after Fallen Gates. Oh, that is incredibly annoying and they have so much stuff. Okay, well, let them have it. But we'll take it back when we start going north. Because I think uh, once we've dealt with uh, Master Mundi, we'll sweep up north and just deal with all of that. And yeah, we're going to have to clean out that, uh, that corruption. But that's fine. We, we have magic for that. Ooh. That's pretty alright. Snowflake's Pendant. And that's alright. We're gonna grab the Spider's Kiss, I think. Yes. Yeah, let's do the Spider's Kiss. We don't have that many spiders left, but I like the spiders. We're gonna have some of those. So, I guess... Uh, I guess we just go and fight this in the, in the siege then. If you're not gonna attack us, could try. We could try a uh, ambush. Cause I feel like he's he's gonna wanna get this back, right? 
Do we have any better than 70%? Well, there's a uh, 90 there, but it's too far off to the side. So let's do a 70 here and uh, see if we can get him to attack us. Because I feel like this is going to be a rough siege battle. We could probably do it, but I'd rather him just come and be ambushed. So I think we're going to do... Okay, loud. We're going to do one uh, one lap of those. We're also going to start building the Akshina building. Oh, we also get some money from it. That's nice. But yeah, I want I want the Akshina and I want the things in the woods. Oh, Alethanar wants trade. Yeah, we're going to trade with all the elves. And we got the ambush. Perfect. And I forgot the curse because I was so excited to just ambush them. But um, I think I think we're just gonna set up our cossars over there. Start shooting you right away. We'll uh, pop you right there. Set you there and uh, take out these guys as fast as we can. We can do that by ramming you into there though. And we also need to put these guys, we can put them over there. So these are all group two. We'll put you over, over in there. That's gonna be fine, we can make you group three. We'll set you up there, put spiders in there, just surprise them in the rear. And you can just uh, kind of sit here and uh, shoot at stuff. Perfect. And what is this now again? Oh, it's just uh, buff your stuff. Okay, so um, let's just uh, okay. Oh well, we'll keep that until until uh, things blow up a little bit more. But start start to just uh, plow through these skinks. Yeah, plow through them. And just uh, let them blob a little bit. Send you in there. Let's get an overcasted you. We will cast nothing, so pop that. We'll pop that. Send you in. And I mean, you can just sit there and shoot actually. Let's set you to hunt Mastamundi. And here comes the woodland creatures! And I can't tell what is happening. But let's uh, pop the ward. Let's throw some rocks at them. Let's pull out a little bit so the volume isn't insanely high. Let's throw another one. And that is excellent. Let's uh, throw a bear over there. Come on, give me the bear. Let's get a summon over there. You gonna shoot your bear? Come on. Please shoot your bear. Um. Okay, well, charge those in. We'll uh, go to the side a little bit. Now, please shoot your bear. Come on, I want to see that exploding bear. What are you waiting for, you dick? <sighs> okay, some of these are just hard to get to work. What if we... What if we get an angle here? Now will you shoot the temple guards? There we go. Belly flop! And <laughs> that just annihilates them. Gorgeous. So, let's uh, get ourselves another flock of doom. Let's... Oh, 
There's armor losses. Perfect. So that was great. I mean, we didn't need the curses, but I kind of wanted to curse Master Mundi. But let's grab the replenishment, and we should be able to take out Skiggy. Or, take Skiggy. And, uh... They're actually going for Hexwaddle. I didn't expect that, but that's alright. We'll come and get it soon. And I think they actually just sacked it and stood there, so... You, stop moving around so fast. That's gonna have your movement speed. Oh, I should have done it in there. Oh, well, whatever. Let's go and take Skeggy. We are gonna auto-resolve that. And we can just normal occupy that. And they are trying to run away, but that is fine. Because... Uh, Yeah, we can, we can, we can beat him if he comes and attack us. But we're gonna trade some bears over. That's gonna be good. So we're gonna take some bears and oh, that's a that's a good talisman. Yeah, we're gonna take the bears and spiders and then we're gonna go and deal with this whole thing. And you're gonna get to. You can actually go and go over here and start going south. Maybe get some cossars and defend that. But let's uh, let's start buffing our beasts because we're gonna have a lot of them soon. I see. And what do we even give to you now? I guess that and flock of doom. Call me witch. You need arcane oh. conduit. You need increased mobility. And uh, yeah, let's uh, give you combat stats because you're actually pretty good at fighting. And yeah, let's do defenses. So, we finished that. Guess grab that to Ta just really buff Get our me. incarnate as well. Although No, that's all right. We can we can afford it. We'll we'll get more spirit essence. And let's actually get All oh, right. Like that. Still super loud every time I do that. But yeah, I really like those three in that combination. Oh, and they cost terror? Oh, that is nice. But yeah, I think we can pass the turn. Oh, right. I think you need some more, some new movements. So let's send you over to the Bretonians. And uh, yeah, keep going. See what you can find. But. Okay, that's gonna go real positive. You are kind of mad at us that we are having treaties with Terranok and Kalador. So I guess that's who you hate. But that's alright. We'll, uh, we'll let that adjust itself. But do you. Do you want trade? Perfect. Are we gonna have so much trade money? I didn't expect uh, Mother of Stanka to be such a trade powerhouse. And sh he is actually attacking us. Well, I'm a... Uh... I guess we're just gonna take the other assault. It'll take a lot of damage though. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That's alright. You can have that because we're on our way back. But we're gonna we're gonna replenish this. So that's our oh I guess we need to step outside. Oh no, the problem is there's stuff in the way. There we go. Now we can just trade some of this. Now what do we wanna trade? Let's get some of the cossars. Maybe. Maybe we just do that. Or maybe we get rid of all the Kulsars and just do that. We have a little bit of shooting, but focus more on... Uh, on uh, melee blobs. We can, we can adjust this later with more Akashina. Or... 
Or maybe we'll merge one of you. Because they are kind of expensive. And uh, we'll do like that. Just have a little bit of shooting, but lots of nice uh, foresty stuff. We'll pop the march stance back on and move you back on. And they didn't take it. Okay. And that is very little replenishment. So let's go and sit you over there. And uh, see if we can hunt down some... Oh right, we're gonna go over there. But see if we can hunt down some uh, some rats and some dinos. And are you even doing anything over here? Seems like you've had a great opportunity to strike at Master Mundi, but you've done nothing. Well, let's uh, repair all of these. Not gonna upgrade Skeggy though. Let's put on some control and stop collecting. I think we can stabilize this. Probably. And let's get some money from trade, maybe. Because we don't have a lot of Sar Guards, and we won't have. Oh, that's actually pretty good for some thing in the woods. Can grab that. Can get some research. And let's get some uh, trade tariffs for now. We will bring new trouble that's gonna be world. fine. Can probably upgrade that as well. Can get some of this. Like so, and upgrade that. Lord of the and I guess you leveled, so let's give you that and let's get some no other may we get some control. That's gonna be fine. You're probably gonna just gonna be a defensive guy, so getting some control is nice. And we need to recruit a patriarch. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's gonna be problematic. Upgrade a settlement to level five, and we'll get some good stuff. That's pretty nice. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, I'll try. They all ran away, so let's uh, keep going down south, and I guess we can try another ambush. Because I think that might be really good. Let's uh, grab some more of this. Don't need to explode. Don't think we need mass. Ooh, but getting some uh, missile strength? That is really good on some Akashina, I think. Right, do you want an alliance? No. Ooh, but these guys want. And a, or non-aggression pack. Safari wants an, some trade. Protector of Elf One. Loyal servant. Oh, they are. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think we wanna be friendly with anyone who's trading with Seducers of Slanesh. So, but we can probably. Nah, I'm. I'm just gonna ignore you. That's gonna be fine enough. So let's pass the turn. Ruinous infiltration. The unthinkable has occurred. We have uncovered a chaos cult in the very heart of the motherland. The blasphemers were summarily executed, but we must take drastic action to prevent such an infection occurring again. Um, I guess rationality then. Although we're very far away from the motherland, so don't know about that. And you are on your way to do some stupid shit. That's alright. Let's uh, get a bunch of Cossars. Don't know where their other army is, but oh well. And they didn't fall from a trap. That's alright. Let's go and take Swamp Town. That is a decisive victory. Let's just occupy it. And uh, we need more replenishment, I think. But we don't seem to have any good skills for it, except for the Logistician. But that's alright, let's finish that on off and then we'll go to Logistician, I think. 
you can just have Flock of Doom. And I think we're just going to automate your leveling now because it really doesn't matter anymore. We have what I want with you. Let's do the Winds Reserve because we're mostly just going to drain with you. Maybe Soul Blight. Don't think we're going to Purple Sun or Fate Buna that much. Unless we have like ridiculous amounts of mana. Let's pop that and... Uh, Now we are in the in that awkward position where everything of theirs is just super far away. Oh, get back in there. So we might just peace out with you. No, we want fall. Oh wait, we want Maku Peaks because I at least want to finish this province, and then we might peace out. So let's go towards Maku Peaks. We'll leave this to uh, to Cathay. And see how that goes. Okay, we're gonna just recruit some stuff. Let's grab another one of those. Let's grab one of those. And I guess one of those. How far away are we? 29 more. Because this is gonna be the ship. Because once we get this, we can start teleporting around all we want. I mean, we're still gonna finish this whole area off keep killing these rats but once we've uh, cleared this out then we can just teleport over to uh, to Draika and find our Kislevites then we can get some patriarchs and all that good stuff oh and uh, Morgur is doing uh, a good job over here it seems you're uh, pretty neutral to us I was hoping for a warmer welcome, but oh well. I think I'm gonna leave that be because we have a lot of Skaven running around doing their shit. And we can upgrade this in two turns. Man, we are growing fast. Very nice. And Safari. No, I still don't want anything to do with you. And yeah, there goes Sildrator. That's all right. And they keep just sacking it. Or sacking my stuff in general. Which I guess is fine. Oh, Kalidor is dead. Slaughterhorn is dead. Okay. Topknots are hanging out. So, if we were to, like, join all of your wars over here. Could we... We could not get a defensive alliance, but we could get a bunch of other things. But I think we're gonna just hold off on that. At your service. Yatin is just about n neutral. I hate that peace treaties is uh, something they don't allow you to do. Like it's a past treaty. But oh well, that is all right. And we can hang out. Oh, that is. That is just mountain pass attrition. Okay, well. You know what? It's fine. Oh, unless we. Oh, we can't. We can't go far raiding. Okay, well, let's... Is there any point around here that isn't... That isn't attrition? No, attrition starts... There. Question is... If we go into raiding stance here... Yeah, okay. I think... I think we're just gonna go as far as we can. Accept the attrition. It's annoying. I want some replenishment, but... That's gonna have to be all right. We're just gonna chill there, so let's just make this doom stack of Kulsars. It's gonna cost us a lot of money, but that's gonna be all right. Oh, and uh, yeah. grab that. Let's do that one. And that one. And Alithanar tried to take Hagrief, but it turns out didn't work out for you. 
That's all right. Let's uh, move you through here. Keep finding some stuff. Get some trade tariffs, and we are officially in the red. It's immense, my power. But we are. We're gonna keep defending. That's gonna be all right. And let's take Maku Peaks. Man, we have a lot of curses and blessings now. But I, f I feel like that's the way to go. Just spam them, have them in uh, in reserve, and they will they will be great to have once we have a hard fight, like a quest battle maybe. Ooh, Oath Brothers. But yeah, we need uh, we need a bunch of replenishment. So finish that. Now we're gonna start going towards logistician. The power of a leech is in her charms. But I think, I think we're gonna be without a a fight for a couple of turns now. So we're gonna be able to recover a little bit. We're gonna start moving north, and uh, once we've recovered a little bit more, we are gonna do the next quest battle for the crown and claws, which we haven't quite gotten to the balance, but that's all right. Although. We just need 14 more Spirit Essence here. So, what we could do... Ooh, bonus versus large. Effect intensity with each unit in range. Oh, if we... If we blob up. Okay, I don't know if it's friendly or enemy or any. But blobby fights, that's gonna be really good. And it's gonna make something speedier. So, let's go with that. Let's get some juicy charges. And... Oh, I guess that's... Oh, because we didn't spend any teeth. Okay. Well, that's alright. We are gonna start... I guess we could... Uh... I don't know if we need any of those just yet. So, let's... Let's buff our things in the woods. And I think I'm gonna end this episode here, and we're just gonna start moving north. Oh, right. Hey, you want peace? Oh, we're so close to being able to get a defensive alliance here. But let's just do it like that. There you go. Now you're... You'll think twice before attacking us again. And uh, you might be happy that we are friendly with Exodal in... Like, friendly in quotation marks. <laughs> but, that is good. Are you still fighting? Ah, you're, you're not fighting Hexwaddle anymore. Okay, you can just sit there and be peaceful for a while then. And I'm gonna end the episode here. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.